Do vision boards really work? In this video, I want to look back on my 2020 vision board and share with you guys what I have learned so far about vision boarding and the mistakes that we should not repeat in 2021. If you want to learn more about this, then definitely keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Tilt the Nations. If this is your first time here, my name is Ubunye Anukofo. And on this channel, <laughs> and on this channel, I'm sharing about my life journey with you guys, valuable things that I've picked up along the way, my personal journey, my YouTube journey, and I'm hoping that you pick a few things that will inspire you to go turn the world around you the right side up. Guys, if I didn't stop to think about my 2020 vision and the vision board that I did last year, which by the way, you guys, if you haven't seen it, please check out that video. I think it will really give you, you know, a better context to why I'm making this video. And if I didn't really think about my vision board in 2020 guys i would have concluded that this thing this vision board business is a scam so i really want to just share with you guys what i have learned about vision boarding the mistakes to avoid in 2021 if we should really do this vision board or what's the best way to do this vision board and you know the mistakes to avoid in 2021 if you if you are going to do a vision board if you've done a vision board or if you will do a vision board. The first thing I'm going to talk about is, guys, <laughs> you can't copy and paste visions. Mm -mm. Call it work. It's not gonna work. You can't borrow someone's vision. Hmm. You can't make another person's journey your goals. You can't. Let me see, let me tell you, let me, let me tell you why I'm saying this thing, because if you remember, guys, one of the things that was on my vision board in 2020 was 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Babe. <sighs> 50k subs. So for YouTube, my goal this year is 50,000 subscribers. Yes! <laughs> you heard me, guys. 50,000 subscribers. And there's a reason why I got to this point, actually. So let me help you understand. That was my YouTube vision. As at the time that I was making that video, that was genuinely my YouTube vision. And there were reasons to that. One of the reasons why I made that my vision or my goal was because of other people, as you would know, as you would remember. I talked about Erin on demand. I talked about M Etetim, that they were the ones that inspired me. So because of what I saw other people doing, that was the well that was what instigated my putting that as a goal or as a vision for my youtube which inspiration is good no doubt but baby girl doesn't work obviously uh, do i need to preach or do i need to tell it didn't work it didn't work i know that youtube is a journey i know that youtube takes time but this goal in particular was coming from a place of just seeing what other people are doing and then and then uh putting that as my goal as my vision a vision is very very personal in fact everything that when i look back everything that i actually you know came to pass on my vision were things that were very very personal very very innate and that ties in perfectly to my number two if you can't copy and paste people's journeys, if you can't copy and paste people's visions, then what should you do? Twitty, you must catch your own bespoke, tailor-made vision for your life and use that vision to set your goals. I love Didi K. Guys, if you don't know Didi K, Didi K is my coach. Love, love, love her. Of course, you know that. But I love her definition of a vision. She said a vision is God's thought concerning an unfolding future discerned or captured by a discerning heart. That, that, that definition is just beautiful because it, 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 it's what a vision is about. It's about God's thoughts for your life. It's about the things in your heart. See, every human being is unique. 
everyone's different. I, my journey is different. My, my reality is different. So you have to capture what is your own. What is your own? What pertains to you in specific? The things that are unique to you. And it's only God that knows that. There, there are a lot of things that are on my vision board, obviously. But the one thing that, and there are, and there are a couple of things that I actually achieved and I saw come to pass. And the one, and one of those things that I saw that came to pass, that I'm very, very proud of, is that I wrote a book, guys. I wrote a book. I didn't launch the book, but I wrote a book. And the only reason that I was able to achieve that is because. Maybe not the only reason, but the major, one of the major reasons I was able to achieve that was because, see, that one was coming from within me. It was about what God has spoken to me. It wasn't about what I saw that people do. And the crazy thing is that, let me show you a scripture. Exodus, guys, my Bible is so horrible. <laughs> this is my first Bible ever, but I love it. Let me show you Exodus, right? Exodus 3 verse 12. Let me read this scripture to you because it's, it says something to me because I'm doing a study on Exodus, right? And even though it's very slow, but I'm doing this study. And, and I came across this scripture in Exodus 3 verse 12, right? Yes, Exodus 3 verse 12. Let me read it out for you guys. It said, then God told him, I will certainly be with you. And this is proof that I am the one who is sending you. When you have led the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God here upon this mountain. This spoke to me in, 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 a, in, a, in a couple of ways. One, that when God is sending you, because God was sending Moses to deliver the people of Egypt, right? And he said that this is proof. The proof that, that I am the one sending you is that you accomplish that thing that I have sent you. And you will not just accomplish it, you will worship me. You will worship me. It, it, will, it, will, it will bring worship to me. It will bring glory to me. And I just felt like that's pretty much what a sign of when God sends you to do something. You will accomplish that thing and you will worship the Lord. It will bring glory to him. And that's what I'm believing that course will happen with my book bringing glory to god but what i'm saying in other words is that see a vision that is not coming from god a vision that is not coming from you, the it has a high chance a goal that is not coming from you has a high chance of not being accomplished because it's not it's not in your it's not from within it's not in your dna it's not you it's not God's thought concerning you. So think, look, look at those things that you didn't do well or the things that you plan to do in 2020. Of course, this, there's a disclaimer to this because there is, there are things that may, there are, there are things that may take time. It may not take a year. Maybe you are still on the journey of accomplishing a certain goal, but you know that, you know that you would know when, if you, as you're hearing this, you know the things that are okay, they are still on the journey to becoming to, to fruition. But there are other things that are not just supposed to be for you. Things that you just saw other people doing and you decided that that's a good for you. Think about that. 